I thought I'd do a video of the cutting the pampas grass as everyone seems to do them slightly different so I thought I'd just show you how I do them. First thing I always do with them is cut the stems off with secateurs. Um, basically because if, if you do it with hedge cut I find they just fall everywhere and you trip over them and when you're clearing up you just get long bits caught in the rake so uh, I always find it the quickest and easiest way just to just to cut them out with the secateurs. I always find it's easiest to go around the base of the plant first, close as I can to the ground as possible without catching the hedge cutter. And then uh, sort of take a little bit off the sides. It just, it just so saves the rubbish falling on top of bits you've not cut. And once I've done the sort of the base, I pretty much just take the plant down in sort of swipes, six inches at a time. Uh, it looks a little bit brutal. You can't kill a pampas, basically. Um, I, I mean, I would have took this down even further, but the, the lady sort of gets a bit concerned, thinks it's going to hurt the plant. Uh, you can take this down to virtually ground level. He'll be back with a vengeance. I actually filmed this on one of the very few dry sunny days we've had so far. Uh, I've, I've, last two or three weeks I've took loads of video and I've pretty much had to delete all of it as uh, either beginning or the end or in the middle of the job. There's raindrops on the uh, lens and it's totally useless. It's, uh, it's getting to the stage now I can't remember after 30 odd years such a wet spring really can't um, you know we sh you always get wet periods but it's just continuous at the moment and uh, it's, it's unbelievable it really is and uh, they're forecasting still more rain so uh, at some point it's got to stop hopefully I'm probably like a lot of you uh, I'm getting the, the regular customers phone in saying when you come in uh, you, you try to explain to them if it is dry enough you can't be in two places at once and uh, I think one or two customers are getting a bit frustrated but uh, you know you, you can only do what you can do I find my sort of old older regular customers I've done for years uh, are not too bad at waiting it's actually sort of the new job you picked up or I picked up they're the ones that sort of you've never been yet and I suppose they're thinking oh is he unreliable because you know but the weather the weather just is dictating everything in a moment so it's uh, it's certainly a very frustrating time and uh, even though it rains you can't work you still got to pay your bills they don't steam, seem to stop when it starts raining. Yeah. 
once I've took the part down to roughly where it wants to be, I usually give a little bit of a rake. Uh, always a bit spring up that have sort of bent over or something and just uh, pull it to one side. And then I sort of uh, whiz over it again just to tidy it. As a rule, pull out the centre of the, the pampas. It's always rotten in the centre. Um, but so I just tidy it up now. And just, I sort of round the edges a little bit. It's not going to last long. It's going to soon grow out. But it just, when you're walking away from it, it just looks like a little bit better. If you sort of rounded it off a little. I did actually look at my watch when I started and finished and uh, I think it took me about 20 minutes to do the whole pampas from you know first cut to putting the rake away so it don't actually take that long and uh, I didn't I didn't rush it neither Then it's the fun bit we all enjoy, and that's the, the clearing up. But, uh, I mean, one thing you've got to be a little bit careful with pampas as uh, the sort of the, I suppose you call them leaves, uh, slightly serrated, so you know they will cut your fingers or even your arms. So uh, just got to be a little bit careful there. And uh, then I sort of, as I rake up, I run around with the secateurs right at the base, any little bit sticking out. I find these garden waste bins absolute godsend. They really are. Uh, you know, I, can, I can spend two or three days and never take any waste away. Uh, I always ask the customer if they haven't got one to get one. Otherwise, I'm going to charge them for the waste. And I always try to explain to them over the year it cost them more for me to take the waste than it would the bin. Plus, you can get a lot in these bins if you jump on them. <laughs> And there it's all done. So thank you for watching and uh, thank you everyone for subscribing. It's much appreciated. Thank you.